That is the Atomium in Brussels. It's pretty good. It's a little bit sweet, a little bit crunchy. Well, look. Ooh.
guys welcome to Paris uh, we got here a few days ago but I finally got time so we're gonna do a room tour um, and so I'll show you the room there's the door there's me there's the double bed that's just literally two twin beds and they're just putting them together We've got light there, big curtains that look out onto a courtyard, but I think it's too early to see anything. Um, oh, nope, I lied. Here is our view. You get the courtyard of the rest of the hotel. And unfortunately, they're doing construction down there, so you can't really see anything. Um, but it's getting brighter. It's like 7 15 in the morning. And then there's the big TV. I'm watching Saturday morning cartoons in French. <laughs> and the table. A nice big cabinet for the clothes. And this little fridge. I see myself. Yeah. So there's a lighted mirror. Oh, it echoes. Lighted mirror. And then there's a speaker, and that's why you can hear the TV that's outside. And there's the sink. And apparently we got a barrier-free bathroom, so there's the bar. The grab bar, and then there's even a grab bar for the shower. A nice big shower with the curtains, and it just flows out into the drain. Apparently, according to my dad, this is a heating rack. So it keeps like your towels warm, but I've never seen that before. Um, obviously that could be like a fire hazard if you leave it on all the time. My assumption at least, but first time I've seen it, so. Heating rack. I think that's all for the bathroom. We're in first size. It might be shaky because I'm walking on cobblestone. All these people waiting to get into Versailles. The, these are the pub lines. Look at that long pub line. Mentos better, Mentos fresher. The fresh goes better with Mentos. Okay, sorry, that has nothing to do with it. I just want to sing. My dad. We are in the Versailles Gardens. Literally, what I really wanted to go to. This was the main attraction for me. And there's a big fountain. This is like the iconic place for landscape architecture with all of the manicured hedges, which obviously have not grown in yet. And all these cute little trees! And of course, 
Versailles. Never count. Don't know who that is, but it is a man. I hope that is a man. And I found my fair lady. Oh my god! Look at that fountain, guys. This fountain. It's pretty extravagant with all the gold. You can see all these statues along the edges. Ooh, I'm getting some mist. It feels like Niagara Falls. even take a train, little tiny, what well, they call it, a little train. Apparently you can take a little train around the gardens. I guess it would give you a little tour. Don't know how much that would be. It sounds expensive. This is kind of a view of how big those gardens are, but they're massive. All different designs and everything. But really, we're here for the view. And apparently the really good weather we've been getting. I've been really lucky this whole trip. It's always been sunny. A little hint of rain. But very light. But woo! It's the other side with a nice little woman statue. But he Nikki sets yai. Well mojo mojo sound that's yai. a confession I guess it's not really a confession per se but I tried really hard to show myself being very happy for these couple of videos to be honest it wasn't um, literally the first thing that happened was literally um, the flight gets cancelled first day it was supposed to take off I think I mentioned that in the first one and it got rebooked just barely that we made a ship for the cruise and when we got to Amsterdam, where the cruise was going to take off from, uh, essentially our luggage didn't show up because they canceled a flight which got rebooked onto a flight from Edmonton to Montreal and Montreal to Amsterdam. Didn't make the connection and, I mean, Canada. So essentially our luggage didn't make the plane and didn't go to Amsterdam and we were without luggage for maybe four days uh, essentially we assumed we had to buy everything from scratch every essential you know underwear toothbrush toothpaste blah 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 and that was a hassle because essentially I should really stop using essentially um, mostly just we didn't know when our stuff was coming back um, I, I was lucky enough to bring at least a shirt or two in my bag with all my camera gear and my laptop so at least I could film a little bit of stuff but I wasn't the happiest person while filming filming and I wasn't really sure exactly when things would pan out um, I was really worried because I left my hard drive the external one for um, putting all this footage on in that check-in luggage that I'm missing and Luckily, it showed up on the fourth day, but I mean, four days had passed and it's already been like essentially half of our Netherlands trip. So, yeah, that happened. Um, what else? I'm also super sorry because I realized that I didn't film enough of myself. I wish I had actually filmed more of food, but I guess I'm not really a food blogger. I just kind of, I love food, I really do. But, um, majority of the food that we had in Netherlands or Amsterdam in general, uh, Belgium, was pretty much whatever was on the ship. 
because we were given breakfast, lunch, and dinner, I didn't see a point to really filming it. It's pretty kind of generic. Like there's a buffet, you get to find dining. I mean, it was great food. I took pictures of every single thing. Maybe I'll post some of these here. But like, essentially, the experience was more enjoyable than showing off the food. So I really enjoyed the food and it was way more enjoyable without filming it. Um, we woke up really early the morning of from Amsterdam to get on a bus. Uh, I think we got about like six to get on the bus by eight or seven, I don't really know. And mostly that car, the, the bus ride, sorry, that bus ride from Amsterdam to Brussels took about three and a half hours. And the tour guide that we had was not very, maybe not very knowledgeable. I mean, like, who talks about the, like, the iconic Belgium peeing boy and doesn't tell us any backstory whatsoever about what the story was behind him? I still don't know what the point of him is. He just is a guy. Apparently, that's a fountain to me. I would have to Google it. Um, and, and then after Brussels, because honestly, in Brussels, I got freaked out. <laughs> There are so many people in the Grand Place Square um, that essentially seems so sketch to me. Unfortunately, we didn't get to go anywhere else in Brussels. It was essentially just the square and whatever was close by because we didn't have enough time. And so all my me and my dad did were sit down, eat lunch, go to get a Belgian waffle, and then we walked back to our meeting spot, got hopped back on a bus, and we were, you know, five hours on to Paris, um, five hours on a bus back to Paris in like rush hour, stuck in traffic. So we didn't actually get to Paris until maybe 8 p.m. that night. I think we were supposed to be there at 6 and it ended up being another few hours more. Um, I mean, it was great finally arriving in Paris. I, I really was just happy to get off the bus. Luckily, we had Wi-Fi the entire time. I mean, I was on my phone the entire time. I was playing Pokemon half the time. So, I mean, I had something to do, but it was a long car ride. When I saw the news of the Notre Dame Cathedral going on fire, I literally was um, editing that footage and I wasn't sure what to do with it. And at the end of the day, it was a matter of, you know what, I would rather show that footage um, in all its glory. Um, I was lucky enough to be there when it was full-fledged before the fire and it was maybe 10 days before. We were there April 5th, which was a Friday, and we were there like 8 in the morning. It was cool. We got to see Notre Dame bright and early with almost no people inside, walked the entire thing, saw the relics, saw like, you know, the thorns of thorns of Jesus. Um, I mean, I got really freaked out, which you probably didn't notice because I purposely didn't film that part, but like, um, there's that part where all I, sh all I show is that like wooden model of Notre Dame and right behind it, there's like a really big sculpture of like the Virgin Mary and I think a child. I, I, I've learned on this trip, Europe scares me so much just because of all the sculptures. Um, I think I've watched too many movies or too many, too many Greek culture, like, <laughs> myths or whatever that I'm afraid these sculptures will move, just like get up and move. And I mean, you could have seen that happen in, was it, Antwerp where that lady was pretending to be the statue and she starts waving. Yeah. Um, that freaked me out and I kind of really tried hard not to get too close to them anymore after that point. Um, yes, fear of statues. Um, <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, we, we didn't even know anything was going to happen when we got to the cathedral. Everything was pristine, didn't look like any signs of renovation. Like we didn't even know that renovation was gonna happen till we got back. Um, I think on the Sunday, a Monday after we got back was the day I think we heard that renovation was starting and they put up, started putting up all the scaffolding and then the week after is when the fire happened. So at least I can be the one to say that I was there before the fire happened. Um, 
And then I guess lastly, I just want to end off with but pretty much I just want to end off with how awesome this trip was. As as bad as it started off, honestly, I had a great time. I had a great time with my dad. Um, I, don't, I didn't really show enough of him. Honestly, I was trying really hard to get him out of my shots just because it wasn't about him. It was about the place and it was about the journey we took together. Um, but I don't think he wants to be on camera on line so um essentially all i can say is i have this this is a, this is also my first trip to europe and so i really just had an open mind i didn't know what to expect and i really had fun like i had no idea if he was from netherlands and now i really wish i had a miffy nether like a netherlands miffy that was the boy version of my girl one. Um, <laughs> I yeah, I know now if you eat Belgian chocolate and you buy the ones that you have to pick, hand pick, into a box yourself, that you should never put it in the fridge because then your chocolate taste gets worse. Um, but essentially, Hawaii is coming up in May. It's like two weeks away. Um, I guess not two weeks away from when this video is going to be posted. Maybe it'll be happening by then um but in going to go to hawaii for the wedding um there's one of our friends are having a wedding there's like it's going to be a very intimate 30-ish people wedding um we're friends with people in the wedding party um we are taking a week there because it's a little bit more than a week only because it's so expensive to fly down there we just knew if we were going there for a wedding, we might as well enjoy it as a vacation. And me and my boyfriend really haven't been on a vacation by ourselves for maybe since two years ago. So essentially this is us having us time. Um, there might be some hikes, there might be some snorkeling or some jet skiing. I don't know which one because I don't like swimming. I don't know how to swim. Um, <laughs> I don't know, but I'm excited for beaches and I'm excited for sun and warmth because it's freaking cold in Canada. So please give me sun. <laughs> and on that note, I guess see you next time.